One of the craziest six mark questions, 3D shapes, nets, and all of that good stuff. You don't want to miss out on this one, so you probably want to save this video for later as well when it comes to revision. It says, here is a sector of a circle with center O with angle AOB is X. The sector can form the curved surface area of a cone by joining OA to AB. So, you know, in a nutshell, I don't have any props here, but you have a sector like this. If you wrap it around, you form a cone, in it? When you wrap that piece of paper around itself, it will form a cone. Where this just becomes the curved surface area. So the sector can form the curved surface area of a cone by joining these two sides, okay? So the area of this is the same as the area of this curved bit. It says the height of the cone is 25 centimeters and the volume is 1600 centimeters cubed. Work out the value of X. All right, six marks and do it to three SF. So, uh, I guess we could start off with the fact that the volume is 1600. So remember, I always told you guys to start off with the given statements. So the first thing I want to start off with is the fact that that volume is 1600. You could, if you want, start off with saying that the area of this is equal to the area of this. How could you do that? So I'll explore the different options you guys could have taken. So by saying the area of this is equal to the curved surface area, we could say, all right, how do you work out the area of a sector? Well, one thing we're missing there is the radius, right? So I could write down this being R, okay? So remember, for a sector, it's what fraction is this angle relative to 360? So it'll be x over 360 times pi r squared equals this, which is pi r l, okay? Now, one thing we have to be careful of is what we label as this radius is not the same as this radius, which is why I don't like going about the area bit first, okay? So you can start off with that, but I'm not going to continue. We'll use this later. Let's start off with the volume. Okay, so I'm going to label this as being R. Now, the volume of a cone, remember, is one third base area times perpendicular height. So one third of the base area, which is a circle, so pi r squared, times the height of 25 is 1600. And that's gonna help us work out that radius, which it doesn't look like it's gonna give us a nice number. So I'm going to divide by 25, 1600 divided by 25 is 64. So this gives me 64. I'm not going to write that properly because I'm going to times it by 3, right? So 192. So dividing by 25 and timesing by 3, I get pi r squared is 192. Then I'm going to divide through by pi. Then I'm going to square root. Okay, so there's my radius. Now, how does this then link with this? I'm going to go back to this now, all right? So this curved surface area, yeah, so this curved surface area is going to be the same as this, all right? But we need to find some links here. First thing is, what is the curved surface area of a cone? It's pi r l. So the curved surface area is pi times the radius times l, where l is the slant height, so this which we can obviously work out. How can we work out L given these two? It's Pythagoras' theorem, okay? So we're gonna say R squared plus 25 squared. So R squared plus 25 squared is L squared. Now we know what R is, it's this. So when you square it, the root just goes. So we get 192 over pi plus 25 squared is L squared, which I'm then gonna root. Okay, now I'm going to type that in. That's going to go into here. So my curved surface area, I'm going to call it the CSA, is pi times the radius, which is root of 192 over pi, times L, which is root of 192 over pi, plus 25 squared. So my CSA 
is, uh, bear with me, pi times root 192 over pi times, whoops, come out of that, root 192 over pi plus 25 squared, 643.31. Five seven dot 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 dot. Okay. Now I'm going to store this value as a. I've shown you guys in previous videos how we store values above my seven. There's an STO, and I press a. Okay. Now that is the area of this six four three point three one five seven. But if I want to find x, I need to know what the radius is. But think about it. That radius, when we curve it round. Yeah, when we curve it round, is just L. OB, OB, OA, OA. That AB is indicating that this A and B have connected with each other. So this here is just L. So now we can go back to this and equate it to this. Okay? So now my area, how is that going to work? It's still my x over 360 times pi times the radius squared, which is L, is this. Okay. Now, L squared, we know what L is. When I square it, I just get rid of that root. Okay. So, um, how do I want to do this? I'm going to divide by pi. Yeah, so guys, when we divide by pi on both sides, this is going to end up cancelling. And I'm also going to times through by 360. Yeah, to get rid of this. So I have x times L squared, which would be all of this. Now you need a bracket for that. 192 over pi plus 25 squared is. So I still actually have the number in my calculator. So what you could do is you can use the answer button, times it by 360, which is 23153.66 then divide it by pi. So I get 73718.55155. And I recommend you guys type this in the calculator as well to make sure you get the same. Now I'm going to do this divided by this. So I'm going to do answer divided by bracket 192 over pi plus 25 squared. I get 107.44. X is approximately 107.44, but they did want it to 3SS. So that'll just be 107. And that, guys, is an incredibly tough question. In terms of the kind of understanding between comparing these two and how they connect with each other is extremely difficult. Keeping up with all of these numbers is also very, very difficult. So I recommend you save this video as part of some kind of playlist to come back to when you do your revision. Um, for your GCSEs. But guys, if you learned something today, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe for more maths content, and if you're interested in my GCSE maths courses, link is in the description, and you can join the Learn Gang Reddit if you want to submit your own questions for either me to do or the community to help you out. I'll see you in the next video. Nice.